everyone and welcome to another Bite Size Sex Dog with Candy and today we're going to be tackling 13 myths about porn that don't happen in reality so I hope you will stay tuned. Now this is a place where we talk about mental, oh my gosh, mental health is usually what we talk on my uh, Twitch channel but here we solely face mostly uh, sexuality talks that you, the viewers, ask me, so don't forget to um, ask your questions down below because I am always looking for more questions to tackle of yours. So uh, don't forget to click on that little bell so you'll always stay up to date on what's happening here. And today we're going to be talking, like I said, about the different myths that there are about porn that you really don't have to uh, keep going in reality. So um, just like our everyday love lives, love lives do not resemble a Nicholas Sparks book, your love or your sex life doesn't have to resemble a porno. All right, guys. So I'm going to be running through um, the different things that it doesn't have to be. And remember to always talk to your partner because that is the best way to find out um, what they want and the reality of what they think about things. The first false is that every time you're going to orgasm now there is no problem with not having an orgasm during sex this is not always the end game we have talked about this in other videos but also remember that it is okay if it doesn't happen maybe uh you're so can can pick up on it on another date maybe or another night maybe it can be a little something be like hey so i got you off that night maybe it's um uh, maybe you can help me out tonight or use a toy after after the uh, event has taken place just because you're not actually having intercourse anymore doesn't mean that you can't enjoy yourself if you didn't get off right so i mean or ask them to help you or or just it's it's okay to have that build up as well so there's other ways to really think about this instead of every time you have sex every time you have to orgasm every 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 time okay you always clock 30 scripted minutes in bed sometimes people just want a quickie and there's nothing wrong with that you don't always need to have a crazy sexual encounter that has to involve all of these magnificent things sometimes you just you just need a good you know sex times and there's nothing wrong with that i was going to swear i had to stop myself but just remember that it is okay all right guys it is okay to have long sexual encounters it's okay to have a quickie just whatever works it's totally cool don't feel like it always has to be a particular way that your guy's skin has to be smooth and supple like Channing Tatum. Remember, not everyone has time for manscaping all the time and it is okay that things may not look exactly like what you see on the porn as long as you identify this is porn, this is reality. We have to really have a difference between the two because there's a huge problem where people just can't differentiate between um, what is porn and what's reality and we need to have conversations like this to help this, right? Missionary is out, whips and chains are in. Now, um, I'm saying this just as a little note that, you know, it's okay to have missionary and enjoy it. It's okay to have some BDSM or some bondage or whatever and enjoy that too. It doesn't mean that it all, again, that you need to have it one way or the other way. Why not mix it up, have, have a variety? Who needs a condom when those biceps are so huge? If this is a random encounter, always use a condom. Always, always, always use a condom. You don't know this person, you don't know their sexual history, all of that stuff. You always want to use a condom when you're really not sure about someone. And sure, if you've been with somebody for a while, you want to use a condom until you've actually both been tested to make sure that you're both clean and that it is safe to proceed without a condom. Your reactions are always Oscar winning in bed. You don't always need to um, overemphasize yourself in bed, especially for women. They like to, most women like to mimic what they see in porn, like, okay, this is what I have to look like when I'm orgasming, and this is the sound I have to make, and that kind of stuff. No, you know what? It can just be a little something. It doesn't need to be out of control. Um, just know that it, it's, it's fine. It's, it's totally fine. Every guy you sleep with will be very well endowed. This is not always true, and it doesn't really matter. 
I say it's how you use it, not, not the size. And this is very true. Remember, you can always tell the guy you're with, this is what I like and da da da. Always remember once you've been with someone longer, they really get to know what it is you like or don't like in bed. So that's also really helpful that when you have, you know, maybe uh, random encounters that it may not be as good. And the reason why a lot of people think that bigger dicks are better is because sure, a lot of women will get off a lot quicker on a bigger dick, but the thing is, um, or they won't because, you know, there's a lot of women out there that, that don't orgasm during penetration. But always note that when you've been with someone long enough, they figure out what it is that gets you off and what doesn't, right? So same goes for this. So don't just, um, you know, bash it because it's a small dick. Again, something you see in porn. That you never have sex on your period. This is so not true. And um, most guys that are into women are totally down for period sex it's more in the woman's head that's not okay with it i mean if if um this is really something that worries you about period sex you can always put a towel down you can have shower sex maybe you can have a shower after sex and clean each other up you know there's a lot of things that you can add into that so um, don't think that period sex is just totally a no-no. It, usually it's a lot of women that say it's a no, that it's a hard no. It's not usually the guy. Having a midday hookup at work is okay. This is totally not okay unless you're all right with maybe losing your job. And what walls at work are soundproof because they're not. And also there's usually a lot of windows everywhere. So um, definitely something to consider that um, this is not all right. All right, guys, don't, don't do it because you see it in movies. <laughs> uncircumcised guys are a thing of, of the past. So we did have a circumcised versus uncircumcised video. Thanks for everyone that ha has watched it. That has been our number one video on this channel. So if you haven't seen it already, definitely go check it out. But uh, just because this is not something you see very often in porn doesn't mean that there there is no such thing as uncircumcised guy or yeah uncircumcised guys out there. There are the sheath men, all right. I'm telling you, um, <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, let's stop having the hatred on uncircumcised dicks. Thank you. So every guy wants a threesome, role play, uh, dominate you, etc. Again, these are just in, in films, and like I've said at the beginning of this, maybe maybe who you're with does, and that's totally cool too. Just make sure you talk to them, make sure you find out if this is something they really want or don't want. I mean, there's nothing off the table unless you really talk about it. So have some fun and talk about it. <laughs> what a coincidence. You, won't, you guys want to have sex all the time. Uh... <laughs> This is not something a lot of people really have time to do all the time because, you know, other life things happen and that's totally cool. And there's nothing wrong with that. We've also talked about mismatched libidos here and that's a lot more of a common thing than you'd think about, than you would actually realize. So definitely check out that video too. It's like we're, we're developing a repertoire of videos here or something. I don't know. Anyways, let me know in the description box below what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future, other topics you'd like me to talk about because you know what? I'm running out, so I need more topics. Let me know what you'd like in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get right onto this video. Don't forget to check out my uh, links down below. We'll be talking about this Thursday, tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Bye!